So this is a drone. This is an unmanned aerial vehicle. I'm sure many of your civil aviation authorities are not ready to integrate drones into the national airspace of your countries. But don't worry. We worked with IDB uh, two years ago um, to integrate drones into the Dominican national airspace, not just because we were the smartest in the room, but because we had a big need. And these are needs that you also have in your countries. But you also have great technical capacity of your civil aviation authorities. These guys know what they're doing. They just need to understand what the framework is. We also have um, uh, smart people that can take a technician course for over two months. And with IDB, we thought about the whole sustainability of those type of projects because we created a drone innovation center where we would teach um, uh, and give skill sets to these people that would operate these drones so they can, you know, take the course, go and provide services like um, uh, agricultural related services, data capturing, drone delivery related services, or just uh, supervising a drone doing its job. And then with the money that they make out of providing these services, they can fund and pay back the program we just gave them through the Drone Innovation Lab. Once we set up the Drone Innovation Center in our country, now they are training um, young people, not for drone delivery stuff, for uh, data auto automation and you know inspection of infrastructure that otherwise needs to people climb and go up there. Drone delivery started to leapfrog road infrastructure in the developing world. That was the big vision in Silicon Valley. Of course, it was a hard sell, and we needed to create so many things to make this happen. Like, you know, we didn't have drone technicians. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to be a drone technician. The NASA, uh, the NASA uh, engineers we were trying to hire, they were like, this is too small for me to invest my time on this. And then the hobbyists, the kids that, are, that were used to RC um, um, airplanes and whatnot, they thought this was too boring because they were not in command. This is not a remotely piloted drone. The drones we built for drone delivery are completely autonomous. They know where they are and they know where they're going. With a couple of drones, we can connect and do rounds and do these circuits where we are connecting 24 seven these clinics so people can have access to healthcare in their closest point of access. We decongest hospitals and we keep the whole logistics, the whole muscle of the public healthcare system moving. So this is what we were able to do with this fancy technology.